Hey guys, it's your old buddy Diego, and today I'm going to be showing you um, all my Hot Wheels Atomics play sets. Um, I don't have all of them, which is kind of sucky. I have six out of the nine, which is fine, I guess. But I'm going to... Let's just see all the ones I have, alright? Okay, here we go. Up first, we have the Drag Strip Showdown, which was later named... Uh, drag strip. The two cars that came with it are the Destroyers MX48 Turbo and the Defenders Showstopper, aka Seared Tuner. Um, as you can see, Showstopper has a little bad um, star for the Defenders logo and uh, MX-48 Turbo has a skull in a gear. Stupid thing. FOCUS! And we'll worry about that later. On to the actual place set. As you can see, it's, it's supposed to be like a gas station or something. Which is really nice. A gas station or a tune-up shop. And, um... Let's go over the features that it has. The first feature is this little um, tune-up shop as over here on the on the on this side. And let's put a car in here, which also works with the elevator right here. How it works is when you lift the the elevator up the turntable on in the tune-up shop spins around and as you can see the elevator nice drops off the car on the upper floor which is really cool which it's also like a little parking structure and this set also kind of reminds me of race wars from fast and furious which is really cool because it's a drag strip now on to the main feature of the playset is the drag strip itself now the cars that we're going to be racing showstopper he's a little bit too wide at least for me it looks like he fits fine but sometimes he gets a little crazy as you can see there's a this little thing right here it's supposed to be like a little gas pump launcher thing let's put the two cars right here and we push down on this and well, Showstopper, he made it through fine that time. Uh, but MX-48 Turbo won that race. And that's the drag strip. Let's take a look at the half pipe next. Alright, here's the half pipe. And this set, it's not really that great for me. Because it's, it's not really that... It doesn't have that many play features. Um, the main feature, obviously, is the half pipe itself, which, um, it's adjustable, actually. Like, you could have it, like, short like that, or nice and wide. Um, and this set came with a little launcher, which is pretty cool. Uh, you sort of have, oh, actually, let's get to the cars first off. The car, the set, the cars that came with this set are the Destroyer's version of Vulture and the Orange version of Speed Blaster, which are pretty nice. I like the design on Vulture; it's really cool. And it basically works how you think. You put your car in here, and you launch it up off of the that quarter pipe. And it didn't go through it well that time, so let's see. Will it get a nice... That was better. He did a little spin move right there. Now, my main problem with this set is the kind of like the elevator bit. It works exactly how you think. Stupid thing's not focusing properly. There we go. Now, it works how you think. This goes up and down. And it's, as you can see, it tilts a little bit when it gets to the very top. Which, 
the card comes out right there. Now, my main problem actually is that when it comes out, you think it would just go straight down and do skateboarding, I guess. But it doesn't really do that how you think it would. It usually just comes out and flips upside down. That time it was kind of okay ish, but it doesn't always, uh, it doesn't always, um, do how you think it would. It, it works fine if you do that, but it gets, since vultures are real low, he gets stuck on there. And yeah, this thing screeches a lot too. Not, no big deal. Now, the, the feature that I think is actually kind of cool is this little, uh, stair piece right here. Um, if you have a car like Vulture or Speed Blaster or Twin Mill 2 or anything like that, when you have the wheels more set to the back like that, uh, and, and you set your car like that, and you do a little rail grind, and also you <laughs> pitter-patter on the stairs, pitter-patter. And it goes down the little ramp right here, which is kind of cool. Um... Well, that's the the half pipe. Let's move on to Dead Man's Curve. All right, here is Dead Man's Curve. This set is okay. It's not the greatest set of the Atomics playsets, but it's all right. The two cars that come with it are Muscle Tone, my favorite, obviously, and the red version of Excessive. Now, uh, the. This set doesn't have too many features, you just saw one. This set is actually, uh, okay. Now, the cool feature, one of the cool features of this set is the knockable, not, uh, smashable tree. Some cars, like Muscle Tone and Excessive, they actually knock down the tree pretty fine. <coughs> it landed right on top of me, that's kind of funny. Um, now the other feature are the two bridges. This one, it's a drawbridge, and when you lift it up, you get a keep out sign, which is inch kind of cool. The other feature, the other bridge, has a really cool feature. And, uh, let's just put the car right there, and you see this button? You obviously see the button. Push it, and it explodes. Um... That bridge is supposed to be like a separate piece, but I taped it on there because I don't want to lose that piece again. And we... I don't... <clears throat> we spin it around, and inside is a little lab that is entirely a sticker. Wow. Um... Anyway... The other kind of fe the, the other feature that is kind of nice is uh, the elevator. That's it. And yeah, this set isn't the greatest, but it's also not bad because it has some nice cars. It has a few nice features, and uh, it also come came with a launcher that does not plug into it anywhere. Whoop de do. Oh, and also something kind of funny—you could drive over, t over the river to get into the the cave. That's kind of hilarious. Now onto uh, one of the bigger sets, which is Monster Crash. All right, here is Monster Crash, and as you can see, it looks like an oval, but it's not actually an oval. It's um. It goes off into the stadium, which is not that bad actually, but then again, you probably want a, a complete oval uh, racetrack. Oh well, you can't have everything, but we'll get to something pretty cool later. Now, the cars that came with it, uh, the two, two of the main cars that came with the set are the Lime, or the Sprite version of Speed Blaster. And so fast. The two bonus cars that I got with it 
are the Insectorides version of Arachnorod and the World Rays version of Diora 2, which is freaking awesome. I mean, you got the what? As you can see, it got wave whip, wave, wave rippers right there, and right on the top, you got the Highway 35 logo, which is impressive how small they got that. All right, now onto the actual set. This set is actually pretty interesting because uh, it's got a cup. It's got more features, like. The first feature is the oval track, as I s mentioned earlier, and obviously you saw this is a launcher right here, and you I like to have it pulled back a bit, not too much, because it will just fly off the tracks, and like, as you saw, it just flew off right now, so let's try that again with Speed Blaster. And you just slammed right into the, uh, Right again. Let's try a Ragnarod. Well, you get the idea. It's supposed to go through there and then end up there. Now, onto uh, one of the big features of the set is the um, the uh, ramp launcher, and it's a it um, it's supposed to look like a stick shift. And you just obviously set your car up right there. Let's put excessive because he works the best with this launcher. And as you can see, there's supposed to be like a screen thing that you crash into, but other cars can't. Other cars don't crash into it very well, except for excessive. And, um. Well, here we go. He didn't make it through that time, but. Obviously because he's too big and he missed, but let's just take it off these pieces right here And it looks like a field goal, which is pretty cool All right, here we go and Almost had it You get the idea All right, there's monster crash now. Let's take a look at the wrecking yard Okay, and here is the wrecking yard this set actually has a lot of features Probably more, more than uh, other sets because uh, I don't know. It just has a couple of surprises. Obviously, uh, let's get to the cars first. The two destroyers cars that came with the set are Maelstrom and Shredster. Let's see if I can focus on them. And I don't think. Oh yeah, there we go. Damn. There we go. Shredster and Maelstrom. And the Defender's car that came with the set is the yellow version of Excessive. And it's a, recy it's a recycling truck, which is really cool. Anyway, onto the actual playset itself. The first thing you're going to notice um, is the corkscrew thing or the auger, you put your car right in there, and there's a crank on the back, and you rotate it uh, cl clockwise, yeah, clockwise, and the car goes up there, and there's actually two directional paths this knob is for. The first one, it makes the car go down the ramp as you, the corkscrew ramp as you would imagine. What does the other path do? Well, let's see. Oh, great. It's did doing this again. Sometimes the cars like to screw up right at the top or along the way it shoots out the bottom which is really cool and uh, there's a nice little garage in there for your some cars and some exit doors whoop-de-doo all right 
And also, this bit right up here, it's supposed to go up and down, but for some reason, it just stopped working for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, anyways, next up is the test track. Alright, and here is the test track. Pros probably the best medium sized of the Atomics playsets. Um, the cars that came with this set are actually really, really cool. Um, the two Destroyers cars are Twin Mill 2 and, and MST Suzuka. And the Defender's car is the blue version of Vulture, which is really cool. And the two bonus cars that I got are really, really cool. The first one is the Atom Mobiles version of Power Pipes. And the World Race version of muscle tone which is really really cool and not only do I have awesome that's freaking awesome I got Diora 2 and M muscle tone from world race <laughs> I don't have to buy the I don't have to buy the full-size versions which that's awesome and I got and uh, on to the main set okay all right all right, all right here we go now this set is really cool for many reasons, because uh, it has lots of playability, and um, obviously you got the oval track right there. It works best. It works good with us uh, with uh, most cars that are a lot thinner. Like oh yeah, I got the the normal Diora two as well, which is nice. Some cars are a little bit too wide for this set, and uh, some are better, I guess. Some are some are wider, some are nice and thin, thinner. Anyway, we crank this, and you get the basic idea of it. It's a noble track, and now the the other feature is uh, a launcher. Um. You put your car right up here. You pull this back like so, and you could obviously. Um, it's supposed that tower is supposed to have like that flag right there. It's supposed to the car is supposed to um, to push it up higher as high as it goes, but there's too much friction, so I just super glued it to the top. Yeah. Um, And you, also something kind of cool I realized since that since it's the aura two and you could probably imagine that as the wheel of power scene uh, from Hot Wheels World Race so you yeah it went straight to the top <laughs> that's this is definitely the best medium size set of the Atomics place it's the best small size atomics place that is the drag strip and um, there's only one large size place then from atomics which is the steel cage chaos which I do not have unfortunately uh, because it's rare and probably pretty expensive so these are all the atomics place sets that I have guys and I hope you enjoyed the video and catch you guys next time